The HDFC bank recently reported higher earnings growth in January March quarter but lower margins. While it was a strong performance for India's largest private sector lender, the reason for a margin drop was its change of tack during the pandemic. As the retail segment suffered, the bank extended more loans to the wholesale segment. The strategy lowered its net interest income growth but helped it grow the advances during the fourth quarter by 20.8% over a year earlier. While it may be a prudent approach, this strategy will be tested in coming months as the RBI tightens its monetary policy. Talking about policy tightening and the risk of non-performing assets, the insolvency route has not really turned out to be the success that the government had hoped for. Data released by the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India showed that less than a third of debt was recovered by lenders via insolvency cases. In nearly half of these cases, liquidation was the solution. Resolution through lender-approved plans remained a problematic approach with just 457 of the 3,247 cases being settled by this method. Worse, one in every five of these cases were pending review or appeals. If one considers NPAs and companies under financial stress, NBFCs were the worst hit during the pandemic as loan collections declined and NPAs started rising. However, many now expect a growth revival for NBFCs. So it is not surprising that Godrej Group, one of India's oldest corporate houses, has announced its plans to operationalize its NBFC license after 24 years. While its housing finance division was recently announced, it now aims to expand the base. The target is to build a 30,000 crore rupee balance sheet by 2026. Its first target is the unsecured loan segment. The announcement of Godrej Housing Finance had coincided with the launch of WhatsApp payments in November 2020. WhatsApp payment service onboarded more users in June 2021 and rallied for inclusion of even more. The NPCI has now allowed WhatsApp to expand its user base by another 60 million to 100 million. While the messaging platform accounts for only 0.05% of UPI transactions, it is banking on widespread adoption as a messaging platform to bolster its chances to upend the likes of Google Pay and Phone Pay. The expansion of its payment mechanism will also provide its parent, Meta, more room to foray into social commerce and predict consumer behavior better. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.